Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Hey, she thinks I'm a client. Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? He said, you must have run away and you probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with an origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here.
time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. I didn't learn squat. Well, worth a try. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. No point in pushing it. She's not going to tell me anymore. I got to get out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Goddamn Del, asthma. But I really wanted ah. to see ya. And it's not gonna get any better this friggin' weather. That guy just forced his way into Lauren's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. I gotta go back and help Lauren. That guy might kill her. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit up. Oh! Ugh. Get asshole. Are you all right? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 